leadership. There are no bad soldiers under a good general. Napoleon Bonaparte told us this already so many years ago. And I believe this is true. Hi, my name is Anton Benning, and in this uh, Freedom Lifestyle podcast, I like to share everything that I've learned on my journey of personal discovery and development that helped me create more freedom and more understanding in my life. Because more understanding brings faith, and more faith brings a bigger and greater feeling of well-being and freedom. Let's move on. Leadership. I've learned that when you are the leader in a company, a manager, a leader, or the owner, the entrepreneur, it doesn't really matter. If you lead a family or if you lead an army, it's the same principles that work everywhere, all the time, always, because we work with human beings. When we lead, we work with humans. And humans have been operating fundamentally the same for thousands of years. So. There's several principles to adhere to. And I believe the most important one is monkey see, monkey do. Whoa. Yes, exactly. Lead by example. And lead by example, monkey see, monkey do. It's very simple. You're always on stage as the leader. People don't move as fast as they can they move as fast as the leader. If the leader moves ferociously in a ludicrous speed, then people in the company who are working there will try to keep up with the leader. If the leader slacks, takes it easy, likes to go for long lunches, doesn't do a lot, works slowly, doesn't like to work anymore because he has already accomplished, What do you think the personnel in that company will do? The people that work there, will they look at the leader and be like, well, now I'm inspired to start blitzing, to start working my buns off. No, of course not. They'll be like, oh, the leader takes it easy. Then I can take it easy as well. As a leader, you're always on stage. People are always looking at you. So are you aware of that? And now that maybe you're just a little bit more aware of it, would you tweak a few things of that you do on a daily basis? I believe that's very important that we start doing that. By the way, if you like me sharing these things, and if you believe I might be of service to you and your improved life, your improved company, and helping you draw the best out of yourself, through me sharing what I learned on my journey, then please click on the subscribe button and you'll be notified when the new videos come live. And let's continue here on the leadership. What else do we have to concern ourselves with as the leader? We have to give the fame to our people. If something goes well, if something goes good, then it's your team. It's their fault. They did it good. When something goes amazingly well, it's also your team. When you succeed, it's thanks of your team. When the company fails, then it's your bad. When something in the sales process goes wrong, it might not be your department. Or when something in the accounting department goes wrong, it's your fault as the leader because you should have been aware of it and fixed it up front. If something goes wrong in a company, it's the fault of the leader. If a company doesn't do well, if a country doesn't do well, what happens? They oust the leader, they oust the president, they oust the CEO and they replace it with another one. If the sales department doesn't sell enough, the salespeople aren't usually fired the sales manager or the owner of the company needs to be replaced because it needs new leadership. Or at least that's how people look at it. And I think that's the right way to look at it. Because you take the role as a leader and when you take the role as a leader, you need to take the responsibility. And in essence, we all are 
100% responsible for everything we do, everything we don't do, and how we respond to what is done to us. So in essence, we are 100% responsible for anything and everything that shows up in our life, that happens to us, that we do for everything. And when we can take that kind of responsibility, it will help to set us free personally. But as a leader, when you position yourself as a leader in a company, as a leader of a country, as a leader of a family, then you thereby also take on the responsibility that comes with that. All of it. All of it will be your fault. When the company does very well, they'll clap for you. But when it does very bad, they woo you out. So, really simple, lead by example. Give the right example. Get better every day. Show the people around you that you are working on yourself every day, that you every day are working on getting better. Because when you every day show that you're working on yourself and your own personal development, your people will do so too. And then you grow as an organization because when everybody in the organization growth grows, the organization grows. Simple, isn't it? It is, uh, who, who did it say? It was Peter Drucker that said, culture eats strategy for breakfast. You can strategize it all out so beautifully with your plans and put it all together. But if the company culture is laziness, inefficiency, ineffectiveness, it isn't going to be done the way that it is supposed to get done. So you need to build the culture first. You need to hire the right people and draw the best out of them and focus on growth. Focus on growing your people. When you focus on growing your people, the rest will come automatically. Because when we develop, when we grow, if we want to change things, if we want things to change, we have to change. If we want things to get better, we have to get better. That's how Jim Rohn put it. But it's simple and it makes it very true. How big does a tree grow? As big as it can. Draw all the potential out of your people and they'll help you draw all of the potential out of the, that which you are leading. Thank you very much for listening. By the way, if you want my help to grow your company, grow your people, grow as a leader, I work with the Thinking into Results program from Bob Proctor. And you can join me for a free strategy call uh, by applying through www.tir-coaching.com. I hope to see you there for a free strategy call and help you on your journey to identify what it is that you really want and then take you on the journey of achieving it. Don't forget, my friends, have an amazing day. Live with love and live with passion. Namaste.